I want to thank the governor for his introduction and for his work on this very issue, the issue of exports. And we have a lot to uh, commend him for and to celebrate today, not only uh, when we're here at, uh, at Penn Fishing and Manufacturing, but we're, we're also here uh, to talk about that future. Because this company uh, is clearly positioned to take advantage of the president's uh, new initiative. So we want to thank the governor. We want to thank Mary Nutter, whom I'll introduce. Secretary Locke, we're honored by your presence here. Members of Congress, both Congressman Fatah and Congresswoman Schwartz, who are here with us today. This is really about the future. And one of the reasons we can be so confident uh, about the future of, of, of Penn Fishing or uh, other companies that have had this success is because of what you've already done, your track record. We've already met, I met at least three employees among, I guess, the 90 that are a part of this operation here in Philadelphia, but I met three of them who have been uh, employees here for well into the double figure years, 20 years, 27 years. We met, is it Ken that we met also? He's here more than, he, he's, he's here 40, or he said 40, but I'm not sure I believe him. <laughs> he looks a lot younger than someone. He must have started when he was three years old. He looks great. But that kind of longevity, uh, working on uh, such an important product, getting it out to not only people around the country, but around the world. And I know where you're exporting, you will not stop. You'll be exporting into new markets all the time, and that's why it's so important that we support this initiative. The governor uh, highlighted the, the basic elements of it, expanding trade advocacy, number one. Number two, getting access to credit, uh, using the Export-Import Bank uh, to do that, and then thirdly, to remove uh, trade barriers. All of those critically important elements of this uh, new initiative. It can only happen over time, uh, not, not only will it happen, I should say, with just an initiative, we need to fund it. We need to make sure the appropriators know uh, how important this is. That's why uh, earlier this month, I was joined by six of my colleagues uh, from across the country. Senator Stabenow of Michigan, Senator Klobuchar of Minnesota, Senator Brown of Ohio, Senator Udall of Colorado, Senator Shaheen of New Hampshire, and Senator Gillibrand of New York, sending a letter to the, the Appropriations Committee to provide the uh, $534 million for the Commerce Department's International Trade Administration efforts to support the National Export Initiative. We need to have the resources uh, so that you can invest in the future, the future that we see here, the future that we see across our Commonwealth, and across our country. And speaking of someone who knows how to position uh, a company, but more importantly for his purposes, a city for the future, I have the honor to introduce to you the mayor of Philadelphia, Michael Nutter. Senator Casey, thank you. Governor Rendell, members of Congress, uh, Fatan Schwartz, and of course, uh, Secretary Locke. Uh, Bill Sturbeck, uh, thank you, uh, and the entire Penn Fishing uh, Reels team uh, here. This is an exciting moment. I'm, uh, I'm in the number three spot. Uh, this is uh, kind of like the Chase Utley. Uh, <laughs> I have much greater appreciation for, uh, for him now uh, after, uh, after the two big, uh, two big guys who have spoken. But the city has had a wonderful working relationship with uh, Penn Reels uh, for a good while. When the governor was mayor, uh, support from our PIDC, Philadelphia Industrial Development Corporation, uh, with some funding, and then again in 2004, uh, the same. Uh, the owners, of course, have taken this exponentially uh, to another level. Uh, the 90 folks working here, 20 percent of the product uh, now going overseas. It's a perfect example of what President Obama and his administration, of course, Secretary Locke, what they're trying to accomplish uh, with uh, pushing uh, opportunities for export, opening new markets uh, for small and medium-sized businesses, uh, and uh, creating a diversity opportunity, certainly uh, for uh, any number of businesses all across Philadelphia and, of course, across the United States of America. Uh, we talked earlier about the World Trade Center and the city signed on uh, with them uh, just uh, last year. So there are exciting opportunities taking place. Even in the midst of a tough economic time, we can't slow down. Uh, the President has called upon the Export-Import Bank uh, to increase by 50 percent their financing to small and medium-sized businesses. That also will create tremendous opportunity for many companies right here in Philadelphia. So I could not be more pleased and proud to work with 
U.S. Department of Commerce, the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, Export Import Bank, and so many others. We're going to put people to work and expand and grow, even in a tough economic time. This is no time to slow down. This is the time to move forward, and we stand right with you to do that. Thank you.